hello, I'm Steve Benway, and if you've got one of these, you might want to get one of these. What's this? Keep watching and I'll tell you. Right then, what we've got here is a little gizmo contraption thing, cartridge, let's call it that, called the Elk SD64 from a company called Ramtop Retro. I'll leave a link in the info area below. It is largely, it's the Acorn, Acorn Electron equivalent of an EverDrive cartridge. It, largely does the same thing. You put your software onto an SD card, stand, normal size SD card, not a micro SD, maximum of 8 gigabytes, and um, you put that in there and you plug this into the back of your Electron. Um, it sounds really simple. It's not quite that simple. I will tell you about it. Let's plug this in. It will only go in one way, so you can't plug it in the wrong way. You've got this notch here, which matches up with that, which basically means I've got it upside down. And you push that on there. And hey presto. Now, let me read you some instructions. Um, because this matters. Blah, 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 load of stuff. Hang on, let's, let's read this bit. A pre-made Beeb MMB file containing a curated selection of games along with a full user manual and other downloads is available here. Gives a URL. Um, absolutely, totally get those instructions. And then, be aware, you can't see it here, but it is written in red, just under the user guide. Preliminary version. Information may be missing or incorrect. Yes, it absolutely is incorrect. And this... Well, I'll, 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 I'll show you. Um, let's turn this thing on. First of all, before we continue, I will tell you it's not a case of just drag and drop the um, your game files onto the micro onto the SD card and away you go. It doesn't work like that. You have to use a piece of software that it links to to add files to a kind of database if you like and it then loads the database. Uh, I'll show you. I'll show you what it looks like when you get it loading. But first of all let's let's turn all of this on. Bear with me. Okay we've got it booted up we know that the cartridge is working because it says Electron MMFS SRAM EP blah all that stuff you can see there that means it's working so the instructions now say to load the games menu hold shift and press break at the same time here's what happens if you do that nothing nothing at all um, you'd just come back to that. Th this infuriated me. However, <clears throat> it does give you a, another page full of instructions. It's kind of... I say instructions. They're, um, they're commands. Um, some are recognisable as BBC basic commands like load, speech marks, name, speech marks, save, speech marks, blah blah. Anyway, uh, but you've got other ones. Star D cat list all the disk images contained in the Beeb MMB file. So I did that. Was it deep? Yes. And that tells you there's a whole load of stuff on there, which is good. It means you know your SD card's working. It means you know your cartridge is working. But holy crap, what do you do with all of that? Um, after an amount of messing around, and actually, I created my own database, because 
all of that scrolls up the screen like that and you can't see what's at the top. So I created a, a database of stuff that I'd put on it myself and noticed that the very first file was um, called, and it, it's created by the piece of database software itself, was called something like Game Menu. So I thought, well, all right, I'll try and load that. I did chain speech marks, game menu speech marks, and loaded it up, and it sort of worked. Eventually, we'll, we'll do this. Shift, cat. We'll see what's in that. Shift, cat, zero, which is the first file. It gives you that. And it was like, okay. <laughs> I I know I've got something here. I should be able to should be able to make this run somehow. Um, and I did a lot of messing about. Finally, I realised. I looked further down the instructions and saw star D boot number, and it says insert the specified disk image and boot from it, which is what you want to do. Never mind trying to work out which of these particular parts of a disk image you want to load. That's what I was doing, and in some cases it worked, and in some cases it didn't. Th this was just working from like deduction and and random trial and error and seeing what worked and what didn't. But then I saw this D-boot, so we'll try... We're on... Yeah, let's see if it'll work. D-boot... I don't think I want space there, do I? D-boot, zero. Yep. And you get this. And it's going to be slow. The, the scrambled blue effect is not a problem with the cartridge. This is the video signal I get from my Acorn Electron. It used to look fine on an old dodgy ancient cathode ray, cathode ray tube TV. It's never looked good on this modern LCD, modern-ish, I say modern, it's about 10 years old now. On this HD telly it looks bloody awful. Um, that's the computer, probably an iffy modulator, or it might just be that they all look like that on modern tellies. Don't know, but there's nothing wrong with the cartridge. So anyway, I did what I just did, got this screen and thought, what the bloody hell? Um, it, it's not because you've not got a joypad or anything like that where you, you, you're going up and down the menu system and just pick a game. What you've got... A list of games obviously in alphabetical order and then you see the one you want you used your arrow buttons and you can cycle through you see this will take us to the next set of games starting with A and now we're up to B and when you see the game that you want to play let's have a look what will we play is there anything there we want to play yeah okay We'll play Blitzkrieg. It actually starts with B, but it's neither here nor there. You see the game you want to play, and you you choose it with the letter. I don't know what F3 equals game will even do, because we're just going to push the letter B for Blitzkrieg. And it didn't work. That's unfortunate. <laughs> This is going well. So it's safe to say that not everything on this here thing works. Shift break. I'll edit here and try and find a game that does work. We'll try Z for Arcadians, which is a Galaxian. Yeah, that's going to work. Oh, it's, it's a multi-game disc. So uh, we'll go for Arcadians. And I, ha yeah, that's it loading. It's basically loading from the disk. Acorn Electron, the, the Haven. Acornelectron.com. Hmm, okay. Return. This, d mm. don't. Yeah, we'll go for that. Uh. Okay, then. This is what I was expecting to see. From the off. Uh, one. Yeah, 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 yeah. K. 
come on, get on with it. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that very well. It's quite dark. And there I go dying already. Exposure, let's turn up the brightness a bit. Anyway, that, that is basically it. Um, it works. The instructions are poor. Compatibility or functionality or whatever is not 100% by the look of it. As we saw, one game didn't load. I don't know how many others don't because I've tried a few. That's the first one I've tried that didn't work. Um, it caught me out, but I have only tried a few, so I don't know what percentage-wise is going to be working. The the file, the database with the games on, is one that you download. They give you a URL for it. Um, you can create your own database. Now, it uses disk files in the .ssd, single-sided disk, format. Um, so while I initially thought, yay, every single Acorn Electron game I can think of, I can bung onto this here SD card and play it just like that, no more long loading times. No, because a very large proportion of Electron games are on tape and this thing doesn't load tape files. So it is purely stuff that was released on disk and the database file that you download is probably the best you're gonna get. I hunted high and low for disk files to create my own database and I couldn't match what was on this. I couldn't find Exile or Elite on the right kind of disk file anywhere but thankfully they're on this thing. So there's that to bear in mind. You're not going to get every Electron game that you want on here but you'll get a lot. Um, the instructions are poor, as I said. Ignore what they've written. Doing, doing shift break does not bring up this menu. You've got to do star D boot zero. That will give you this. I, I, it boggles my brains that they don't tell you that from the word go. They should. It's, it's, it's ridiculous that they didn't. But once you find out that's what you've got to do, I think it's good. Largely it does what it's meant to. Largely it does what you would expect once you work out how to do it. If it's got the games on it that you want to play and they will load, it is so much easier than um, messing around loading, certainly loading from tape. I've never used a disk drive on an Acorn Electron. I don't know how quick or otherwise they are, but you know, a few seconds loading on here compared to like five or ten minutes from a tape. Uh, it, it's it's worth the minor annoyance. Well, I, it was my annoyance. If you've watched this video, you won't have to go through all of that. You'll know. Just do star D boot zero and you're in. Um, yeah, so thirty nine ninety nine is what I paid for it, which compared with things like Everdrives is actually really cheap. I, I was very pleased when I saw how much it was. Again, I will leave a link in the info area below. Um, do I recommend one of these? If you've got an Acorn Electron and you're inclined to use it and you find tape loading to be an absolute pain in the ass, and you can settle for not having absolutely everything but having a good selection there, there are something... How many? I'm not sure how many games there are on here. 200 and something, 280 maybe, somewhere in that region. Just a bit under 300 games. Um, yeah, I reckon it's worth it. I actually, I, until I worked out how to work it, I was not going to recommend it. But now I have found out how to do it. Yes, I would recommend it. It makes playing Electron games a lot easier if it's got the ones that you want and if they load. Blitzkrieg didn't load. There may be ways of doing that manually rather than going into this menu, going into that file system thing and doing chain name or boot that disk directly instead of through this memory. A whole load of... There are other commands on... There is a URL it gives you to a page with a whole load of user commands and 
that's probably worth a look. You might find ways of loading stuff. It, it talks a good deal in part of the manual about um, sideways RAM. <laughs> I, I have no idea what that's all about. I never got that far into Electron and BBC stuff. I never had sideways RAM. While I think of it, um, this thing is not just a um, SD card interface, it's also a memory expansion. It gives you 64K. Now, I don't know if that's 64K including the 32K that you've already got or on top of. Not sure. I think it basically makes it a 64K machine, but I, don't quote me on that. Which might be useful. I don't know that any many or any of these games require 64k but if you do things that require 64k hey presto there it is um so that's a good thing yeah that's really about all i've got to say about this initially frustrating and very annoying but once i've worked it out impressive you don't need to work it out because i've told you what to do plug it in turn it on star deboot zero and you're away once you've put the database onto the SD card. Okay, gonna shut up now. I am rambling. There will be more videos. I am going to be doing a series of Acorn Electron gameplay videos coming up very soon. I'm probably going to record a load after I've edited this one. So look forward to that if you like Electron games. Okay, thank you for watching. So, is he starting some kind of cookery show? It says something here about having pastry on. Pies? I like pies. <laughs>